What's up my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jaws 84 and today I got a little surprise for you guys. Today I got for you a little bit of a Black Ops 3 kill confirmed gameplay. And by the way, if you guys want to see more of these Black Ops 3 gameplays, make sure to leave a like on the video because that's going to let me know that you want to see some more. So, in this gameplay, before I recorded of course the my voiceover, I did see the whole gameplay and I'm telling you right now, it is a Tempest gameplay, a person who's carrying like an electric gun, which can pretty much create a whole chain of kills, it's an insane weapon, I'm telling you right now, even though I hate the game, I'm telling you, there are some good weapons in this game, and the Tempest weapon might be the best one out of the whole game, and you should be able to see that a few times where this person gets a few chain kills back to back, and it's pretty awesome, so... I mean, I'm like 50-50 with the game, but the weapons are really kind of convincing me now that I gotta get this game and uh, maybe get get it working with the Tempest and the, like right away in, the, in day number one. So, um, so that's happening. Another thing that's happening was that uh, while watching this gameplay, this guy, whoever's playing this game during the E3 conference or the Black Ops 3, you know, showing whatever it's called, um, that, this person gave me a headache. The reason why is because he was using a freaking burst gun. You're not supposed to be using a burst gun when it comes down to small stages because uh, most of the damage being done from short range is not going in there completely. You're actually making less damage than from long range. I'm telling you from experience. So, I mean, I know the phys the freaking physics in this game is not even real because if, you, if you're like from shorter range with, a, with any weapon it's supposed to make more damage but according to call of duty if you're from short range with a three round burst gun you're not gonna make any damage so yeah that's kind of a impossible logic right there but um this is what would really happen and you know since i know that i would usually recommend like an smg or an assault rifle an automatic assault rifle to carry when it comes down to uh medium-sized maps like these so um, this map is kind of okay though i like the middle part because the middle part it has this little river that you can hide under and you can kind of like hit glitch half of the time so if you had an smg with a silencer and the stock attachment included you should be able to like sway around that whole area real easily and with no problem just stay in the middle you should be able to call in your crazy ass kill streak your choppers any any high kill streaks like from right there because you should be able to be protected by the bridge you shouldn't be able to be get guided by um gotten by grenades or anything you should be very pretty much covered like 100 percent of the time so yeah i, I kind of like this stage even from looking at it like right now just depends on the situation because i know people are going to change the my my thoughts later on i have a feeling they will so um another thing is that i noticed a glitch it's about to happen right now this guy he's gonna call in his care package and the thing never arrives as you can see he's just waiting and waiting and waiting like around already like around 10 seconds passed by and still no care package look at him he's looking up he's, he's like where the fuck is my care package fuck it i'm just gonna go out there and kill myself or something so there he goes, like, wall runs, gets killed, respawns, and now his care package appears. So, is this a glitch, or this is the necessity that you have to do in order for you to get a care package? Because it just seemed pretty weird that his care package never arrived. Hmm. So that is kind of a weird side. And by the way, he called in the little robot that, you know, drives around and shoots people. That's actually a cool, badass robot. I used to call that a lot of times back in Black Ops 2, so... I might equip that first because it is a pretty much of a great helper. Unless it gets killed by, by with one knife, then I do have a problem with it. So hopefully it's not like that. So anyways, another thing is you should be able to see some wall running, which is kind of okay. As you can see, it gets to the other side of the map with, with no problem. So yeah, so those were my only problems with this match that this guy was using the uh, freaking three round burst on a small map. Like, come on, man. It annoys me that I gotta click that that the R2 or the shooting button like several times. It annoys me a lot. So that's why I got after this guy while while watching him play. I was like, you switch to another goddamn weapon, and bam, he dies right there. Unnecessary reload. He did an, an unnecessary reload. He had like around 10 bullets with that three-round burst. So I mean, you're not gonna get those quick kills. I'm surprised he even caught one right there. So get out, bam, another one right there. You see, this is why I think you should need the stock attachment on some of your assault rifles, because I think most of the time, since this game has more of a, you know, more paths being, like, kind of curved out, you are going to need the stock attachment to approach those corners, and it's going to help you guys a lot. 
Now, I did use the stock attachment back in Black Ops 2, and I'm telling you, it was very useful with the assault rifles. Because with the AN94, before with the AN94, I would never use it. That like, could never even my first matches. And then I unlocked the stock attachment, and I was like, you know what, let me try it out. Because I know with some other assault rifles, I did good with the stock attachment, and then I tried it out with that one. I, I believe it was a SCAR. The SCAR, I, I was doing good with the, with the stock attachment. And then I added it to the AN94, and then voila, I got like freaking ADNO. There is an ADNO gameplay. And by the way, if you guys saw the gameplay right now, the Tempest, you know, he called in the little electric gun, and he got like a chain kill. He got like around three kills back to back, I believe. So there it is, guys. If you guys enjoyed the gameplay, make sure you leave a like on the video. If you guys want to see more, also let me know in the comment section which was your favorite part in the whole video, as you can see. And he got electrocuted. Look at that. Oh, he got two. He got two right there in the final kill cam. Oh, wow, that's cool.